my spirit animal. Welcome into a very special edition of First Take. We're at Bowman Field in Clemson with this fantastic crowd. Go Tigers, all fired up. They take on the Seminoles in Death Valley. We are going to have a lot of fun today. What's up? Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's run. I like being on a college campus. I like this whole energy, and I like this whole vibe. Max, how are you doing this morning? Fine as always, Molly. Glad yeah. to be here. You going back to back? Is that what it's going to be? It's going to be back to back? Back to back, like Drake. All right. I see. I, I see. I mean, you just going to let that slide. You just gonna let it slide. Just the other day, I just finished talking about how Lewis Riddick and all of those brothers was up on Get Up, look, trying to look like they were auditioning for Chippendales, and then Max show up today, looking like one of them. He's on a couch. It's saying. supposed to be 80 That's degrees today. I'm just saying, what's up? The shades and the shirt open and oh, all of that please. stuff. Please, you know, please, 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 please let Chippin it get Dale. to be 85 like degrees Max. and watch this dude sweating his suit and tie. Please. My I'm goodness. Good. How about we get into the game last night, Thursday Night Football, Max, I got to say, yep. our Giants in the first half, I was feeling pretty good, but then as always, the Patriots handled them, and they are now 6-0 and for the fourth time in franchise history. The <laughs> defense was great, but that offense a little suspect. Brady finished with two rushing touchdowns, but numbers are down over the last few games. Max Kellerman, yep. I am looking at you. Yep. Is it fair to say at this point, the great TB12 is just a game manager. Yep. In fact, you could go back, Pete, before this point and say he's a game manager. Look, first of all, let's look at, la let's look at last night's game. Who are the Giants? The Giants are a bad team. Betcher's done a pretty good job up front, in fact, with them. But they're a bad team, and especially on defense. They can't cover anyone. Connolly. Hold up. The bad team decimated by injury. No doubt. Yeah. But let's talk about what it is. Are they, like, oh, they're decimated. Are they a good team on defense? They looked all right last night. <laughs> right, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. That's the point. We're really talking about the Patriots' offense. So the Giants are a bad team on defense. Secondary, linebacker, at least at two levels, and even up front, they're not great. They're on a short week. They're going to Foxborough against one of the best defenses, not only of this year with the Patriots, but of recent years in the NFL. This Patriots' defense is excellent. And it was a game. At, at one point, the score was tied. Yeah. Look at the Patriots' schedule and look at who they've played. Were the Steelers a tough – is that really going to test your offense? Are the Dolphins going to test your offense? Is Washington going to test your offense? They've had one test against their offense. They've only played one team this year, and that's the Buffalo Bills. And Josh Allen wound up in concussion protocol. Matt Barkley was in the game. Or maybe they lose the one game. Yeah, like, the Bills could have won that the game. The offense – look – May, and maybe, by the way, you bring up the Giants' defense and, and the injuries there. Maybe the reason Tom Brady is forced to be a game manager is he doesn't have the offensive weapons in terms of receivers that he sometimes has. No Antonio Brown. Josh Gordon isn't simply this phenom that he was as a rookie. Edelman has, has been hurt, has been, you know, even when he plays, he's the only reliable target. There's no reliable tight end target, which is why they're talking about Gronkowski. Please come out of retirement. Robert Kraft. So maybe it, like, this is just what he's working with. But hold on, slow up. Isn't Tom Brady the guy who could turn any average receiving core into stars, right? Don't we always say, like, look what he's working with. Why is it that the offense humming along? He doesn't have all these offensive weapons. Tom Brady's supposed to be that guy. And finally, just to show you what I mean, who's the best quarterback in football? Who are we talking about? Mahomes. Is Deshaun Watson as good as Mahomes? Is Aaron Rodgers? When was the last time you heard someone bring up Tom Brady's name? as in the conversation for MVP, or the best quarterback in football. It was either the 10th best, something like that, okay, would you say, okay. right now, something like that? Stephen Let's be a. honest. You don't know what you're talking about. Let me tell you something. Tom Brady, Tom Brady has never, ever, ever been accused of being some kind of scrambling quarterback. He is a pocket passer. With the exception of the Buffalo Bills game, he has completed a minimum of 66% of his passes in every single game. In four of the six games, he's thrown for over 300 yards. We acknowledge that Edelman isn't 100%. Rob Gronkowski has retired. Josh Gordon's been in and out. We don't know how reliable he is, and he got injured last night. Antonio Brown got exiled, okay? 
This dude is throwing the guy. Other than Edelman, we don't know who the hell he's throwing to. James White, one minute, some dude named Alzuki or whatever the hell his name is, the other Myers. And the, we don't know what the hell he's working with. Yet he goes out on the football field. He throws for over 300 yards in most instances. He's got 10 touchdowns, just three interceptions on the season, okay? They're 6 and 0. Oh. 6 oh, and 0. Oh. No, and without oh. question, their defense has a lot to do with it because I just think they're the number one defense in football. Yeah. But the reality is, is that he is far more than a game manager. We know it because a game manager would not be enough. For the, for, the, for the New England Patriots to win. They wouldn't be enough. If there was another quarterback that was simply a game manager, it wouldn't be enough to save them and have them at 6-0 oh this season. Well, hold up, hold up. What? The one game you could say that about is Buffalo, but again, the opposing quarterback went down, and it was a close game. The outcome was in the air even late in that game. I don't even count Miami, so you can say 5-0. So and if up. you have the best... If, right, right. right. If you have, but By the way, you don't count Miami, so you can say 5-0. Do you count Washington? Yeah. Uh, well, if you don't count Miami, Washington is not much better. I say 4-0. Do you count they, they, the Jets? 3-0. Do you they're count not. the Giants? 2-0. Like, you could keep the whittling it down. Well, if you whittle it down, then I can make the argument that you don't know whether he's a game manager or not because he ain't playing uh, anybody. He's uh. in cruise control because he can afford to be. Because he knows he doesn't need to do anything. TD pass last night. No, right. That's, yeah, no TD for TB. Look. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. You're saying we don't know if he can be more than a game manager. No, I'm not. He hasn't had to be. No, no, no. I'm saying you don't know if he's regressed to being a game manager because he or hasn't been circumstance. because he hasn't been required to be to to, to to have that kind of challenge. Uh, but he's still Brady. And if you're gonna go by the lack of competition for this season, at least acknowledge that a six-time champion deserves more credit than to be reduced to a game manager because of limited competition. Let me let me say something. When Brady came into the league the first third of his career, he was a game manager. He was a game manager who was big in third down, great under pressure, right? That's what he was, and he got credit for it. That's a great thing to be. Were you calling him great? he then? turned into the great Tom Brady of amazing offensive prowess, and now look at how Belichick has constructed the team to protect them, although the left tackle could be doing a better job. They've had injuries there. That's part of his they've problem right now. They've had injuries everywhere. Yep. But they, they've, the, the idea is let's... Where are we going to put the resources? In the defense. Tom Brady now has to take what the defense gives him, rely on his defense to win. That's what's happening. And he hasn't played anybody. Listen, when the owner is literally on national television praying that a tight end comes out of retirement, yep. when Tom Brady is lamenting that Ben Watson, an age-old veteran, has been let go, that Antonio Brown, Lord knows what you can describe his problems as being, has been let go, when we've got to wonder about the eligibility of Josh Gordon he when he's not hurt. Excuse me. The fact of the matter is they have tried, but in the end, hiccups have occurred, and it hasn't stopped him right. from winning. He needs Rob help. looked pretty happy on TV last night, though. I don't see him coming out of retirement. Hey, Tiger fans, I got something good for you coming up. The architect of the powerhouse that is Clemson will be live on set. Dabo Sweeney coming up. Do not miss that. And a Tiger legend is in the